Islam. Islam, peace and love, peace, love, and power. Energy, energy, energy. I am Shade Renee L, all rights reserved, and I'm back at it again with another video. And today I'm actually just going to be making a really quick video, short video in regards to the Holy Quran, chapter one. It's actually something that I read daily, so I decided to go ahead and share it and kind of make it like an audio. And with that being said, I'm just going to get straight to it. And thank you for tuning into my channel once again. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And again, I'm going to be reading the Holy Quran, Circle 7, Chapter 1. And I'm just going to read straight through it. All right. Chapter 1, The Creation and Fall of Man. Time never was when man was not. If life of man at any time began, a time would come when it would end. The thoughts of Allah cannot be circumscribed. No finite mind can comprehend things infinite. All finite things are subject unto change. All finite things will cease to be because there was a time when they were not. The bodies and the souls of men are finite things and they will change ye. From the finite point of view, the time will come when they will be no more. But man itself is not the body nor the soul. He is a spirit and a part of Allah. Creative fate gave to man, to spirit man, a soul that he might function on the plane of soul. Gave him a body of the flesh that he might function on the planes of things made manifest. Why did creative fate give to spirit man a soul that he might function on the plane of soul? Why did creative fate give to soul a body of flesh that he might function on the plane of things that are made manifest? Here, now, ye worlds, dominions, powers, and thrones. Here, now, ye cherubim, ye cherubim, ye angels, and ye men. Here, now, O protoplast, and earth, and plant, and beast. Here now, ye creeping things of earth, ye fish that swim, ye birds that fly. Here now, ye winds that blow, ye thunders, and ye lightnings of the sky. Here now, ye spirits of fire, of water, earth, and air. Here now, O oh, everything that is, or was, or evermore will be. For wisdom speaks out of the highest plane of spirit life. Man is a thought of Allah. All thoughts of Allah are infinite. They are not measured up by time. For things that are concerned with time begin and end. The thoughts of Allah are the everlasting of the past unto the never ending days to come. And so is man, the spirit man. But man, like every other thought of Allah was but a seed, a seed that held within itself the potencies of Allah just as the seed of any plant of earth holds deep within itself the attributes of every part of that especial plant. So, spirit man, as seed of Allah held deep within itself the attributes of every part of God. Now, seed are perfect, yea, as perfect as the source from which they come, but they are not unfolded into life made manifest. The child is as perfect as the mother is. So man, the seed, must be deep planted in the soil that he might grow, unfold, as does the bud unfold to show the flower. The human seed that came forth from the heart of Allah was full ordained to be the Lord of plane of soul and of the plane of things made manifest. So Allah, the husbandman of everything that is, threw forth this human seed into the soil of soul. It grew apace, and man became a living soul, and he became the lord of all kingdom of the soul. Hark, now, let every creature hear the plane of soul is but the ether of the plane vibrating not so fast. And in the slower rhythm of this plane, the essences of life are manifest. The perfumes and the odors, the true sensations, and all of love are manifest. 
And these soul attributes become a body beautiful, a multitude of lessons man must learn upon the plane of soul. And here he tarries many ages, ages until his lessons are all learned. Upon the boundary of the plane of soul, the ether began to vibrate slower still, and then the essence took on final garb. The perfumes and the odors and the true sensations and the all of love were cloth and flesh. And man was cloth and flesh. Perfected man must pass through all the ways of life. And so a carnal nature was full manifest. A nature that sprang forth from fleshly things. Without a foe, a soldier never knows his strength. And thought must be developed by the exercise of strength. And so this carnal nature soon became a foe that man must fight, that he must be the strength of Allah made manifest. Let every living thing stand still and hear. Man is the Lord of all the plane of manifest, of protoplast, of mineral, of plant, of beast. But he gave up his birthright just to gratify his lower self. But man will regain his lost estate, his heritage, but he must do it in a conflict that cannot be told in words. Yea, he must suffer trials and temptations manifold. But let him know that the cherubim and the seraphim that rule the stations of the sun and the spirit of the mighty, Allah, who rule the solar stars, are his protectors and his guide. And they will lead to victory. Man will be fully saved, redeemed, perfected by the things he suffers on the plane of flesh and on the plane of soul. When man has conquered carnal things, his garb of flesh will have served its purpose well and it will fall, will be no more. Then he will stand untrampled on the plane of the soul where he must full complete his victories. Unnumbered foes will stand before man upon the plane of soul. These he must overcome. Ye overcome every one. Thus hope will be his beacon light. There is no failure for the human soul. For Allah is leading on and victory is sure. Man cannot die. The spirit man is one with Allah. And while Allah lives man cannot die when man has conquered every foe upon the plane of soul the sea will have full opened out will have unfolded in the holy breath the garb of the soul will have served its purpose well and man will never excuse me and man will need it never more and it will pass and be no more and man will then attain unto the blessedness of perfectness and be at one with Allah. I mean, I mean, I'm in Ra, so mo to be. All right, so again, this was just a quick video of chapter one, kind of tried to put it into audio form. So maybe you guys want to go over it. And just listen to it on a daily basis, just as, you know, a friendly reminder. And that's it for now. Again, I am Shade Renee L. All rights reserved. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Energy, energy, energy. Islam, peace, and love. And until next night, until next time, <laughs> study well. And free baby Ashe. Islam. <laughs>